Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Justin, and in this video, we are going to go over how to map text and logos onto curved surfaces in FreeCAD. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install the Curves Workbench. As you can see up here, I do not have it installed. And to install it, you go into Tools, go into this Add-on Manager, and in Workbenches, you're going to scroll down until you see Curves right here. Make that a little bigger. Right here, Curves, and then you want to press Install, and it's going to install itself. And after it installs, you're going to have to restart your program. So you can close that and you can press OK and this will restart FreeCAD. So just do that and wait until it reopens. Okay, and after it restarts, you can see up here we have the Curves Workbench. And we're just making sure that opens up correctly. It might take a little while to load if it's your first time opening it up. But it looks like, but it looks like everything is here, so we're good to continue. Okay, so in this video, I am only going to show you how to add text to a curved sur uh, surface. Next video, I will show you how to put a logo. Um, it's a little different, but it's pretty much the exact same, but um, just the SVG uh, file that might need a little bit more work. Okay, so after that, we can start a new file. And the first thing we want to do is we're going to make the curved surface or the object that has the curved surface on it. So in my situation, we're just going to make one in sketch. So we're going to open up a sketch. I'm going to make a rectangle. And then I'm going to use a, a B spline. I'm just going to add a couple points here. Something like that. So that looks good. Any curve will work for this process. So after that, I'm just going to extrude this up to like. I don't know, uh, 30 mil. Yeah, and so we have a nice curved face here, and this is where we're going to project our sketch onto it. So after that, we're going to actually want to make text. So now we're going to go into the draft workbench, and up here, you're going to do create a shape from the text string. We're going to select this. Now, you, there is other options that you do not want to select, like this A. Um, this is for making annotations, you do not want this, and this other A with the little pencil, this is something also you don't want, but that is also to create annotations. So you actually want to make a text string. So we're going to create one, we're going to pick a point, any point really works for this. We're going to put our string, you can type in whatever you want here, I'm just going to write in subscribe, and height's fine, but in font type. Now if you're on Apple, since I don't have an Apple computer, I don't know how to find the fonts, if you do want to figure that out, just Google it. I'm sure there's a bunch of ways to do it. But on Windows, it is just under Windows, then fonts right here. Then all your fonts show up. But, and you can select whatever you want. But you don't have a view option. So what I like to do to see what my text is going to look like is I go into like a Microsoft Word document. And I'm just going to paste in my text here. And then... In here, I can check all the different fonts and what they are going to look like. So you can pick whatever you, one you want. I'm going to put something kind of a thick font. Uh, hmm. How about Arial Black? That looks good. So I now know what font I want. So then I can go back into FreeCAD. And I look for Arial Black. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, and there it is. So now I got my text in, I can start projecting this text onto this curved surface. Okay, so before we do that is we're just going to make this text into a sketch because right now it's just a string. So I'm going to press this little button is convert bidirectional between draft object and sketch. So I'm going to press that and it's going to make a bunch of sketches. Uh, that's fine. And now we don't need the string anymore, and we don't need that sketch anymore. So we have the one sketch that says subscribe. Okay, so after that, what we can do is now we can go into our curves workbench. We're going to select the face we want as our curve, so it's going to be this curve. And then we're going to select the symbol 
with the half cylinder with a sketch. This is map a sketch to a surface, so we go and press this. And it's going to make a sketch to surface. Now, if we drop this down, there is a map sketch here. And this is square. Whatever's in this square and part of the sketch is going to be mapped to the surface. But this, um, this rectangle is quite small. So what we're going to do, and this is what you probably are always going to have to do, is delete all of these constraints because we don't need those anymore. We're going to delete these two, two vertical lines, construction lines. And these two lines here, whatever's in between them, because they kind of make like a rectangle, so let me put some horizontal restraints. Whatever's in this rectangle is going to be mapped onto the curved surface. So I'm just going to make this a full rectangle like this. Put another vertical constraint here. And then I'm going to put this over our text. Just fit this over like that. That looks good to me. But then I have to bring the subscribe text sketch into our um, map sketch. So what we do there, we're going to press this symbol. This is copies a geometry from another sketch. And we're going to press this. And we're going to press one point of this sketch. And then you can see that brings it into our sketch. So we're going to unclick that. We're going to select all of the text we just brought into the sketch. And since it gets brought in, um, into a, uh, a construction line, we want to convert this back into one of the uh, a normal line. So we'll, we're going to press this symbol that has the like a red square, red white square uh, in front of a dash blue square. So we're going to press this. That brings it all the text into a normal layer. And there's a lot of processing here, so it might take a little bit for your computer to run. Usually my computer can do this a lot faster. I do have a bunch of stuff running right now to do all the uh, recording and stuff, so I'm just going to sit here waiting for a couple seconds. Okay, there. It took about, I don't know, seven seconds. But that's all we actually need. So if we close this, you will see there is text on the curved surface. But you will notice it is upside down. What is this? Um, yeah, it's just upside down. So what we want to do here is we want to select on sketch to surface. And these three options on the very bottom, reverse U, reverse V, or and swap UV. So if we set one of these true, and then it processes again, it will flip them for us. Um, so that is not the correct side. Uh, I think it's reverse V. Yeah, reverse V does flips it horizontally. Um, and you might just have to play which each... Um, each three of them just to find the combo you need. And if we just do this, I don't know what this does. What does this do? Um, I think this, okay, yeah, so it rotates at about 90 degrees. So that's going to fall. So this is the sketch we want. So if we turn off the back sketch, or if we turn off the extrude, we have, uh, we can also turn off the sketch. Uh, you will notice our text is here. But, but it's just really a map right now. So to give it thickness, we want to go back and select sketch on surface. We want to select all of this. And we're going to do extrude face. We're going to set that to true. And now we'll add a face to all of the lines. And we want to add a thickness. Um, if you add a, a positive, it extrudes out. A negative extrudes in. So you know what? Let's do an, an inset. So let's do an inset of uh, 1.5 mil, uh, millimeter, millimeters. We do that. Way into it processes. There we go. Um, this fill extrude. If we turn this off, um, this just makes it like, essentially not a solid. So if you check here, it just removes all the lines. So I want to turn that back on because that's what we want. Wait for it processing, and there we go. So if we turn back on our our main object and and we can go back into parts. We can select the two, the the curved object and our sketch to surface, a sketch on surface. Then we can do, uh, then we can make a cut of the two shapes. And there we go. We have uh, sketched, mapped onto a surface, and then cut in.
Now, if you wanted to, you could extrude this out. Um, that would just be in the settings, in the sketch to face setting, the thickness, you're going to add a plus. Um, you're going to add it as a positive number and you're going to run, uh, make a union of several shapes to combine them together. So that is how you can get text onto a curved surface in FreeCAD. Uh, in my next video should be out in a week or so. I'm going to show you how to uh, how to add a logo to a cup. It's a little different. It's pretty much the same, but it's a little different. So I'll show you how to do that separately. So that's the end of this video, guys. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye.